evening. Oh, hope you're all having a lovely day. It's been a lovely day here. Been flipping warm here. Anyway, I've been busy. I've managed to watch the two YouTube channels that I said I was going to watch. Got watched them. Got them out of the way first thing this morning. And then some more information come out. <laughs> it's Jake. You like getting drips and drabs. You know what I mean? You're not getting a full explanation on what what they what evidence they've got. Have they got footage of Sebastian? Have they not got footage? Have they got phone call data? Have they not got phone call data? You don't know, you're just getting little drips and drabs and you don't know what to believe. So it's very confusing and it's tiring. Tiring because you hear about this information, so you're you're looking everywhere then on online, on news channels, on everything, on Nick Berry's Facebook page, see if he's put anything up, and he hasn't. So I'm thinking, okay, well Nick Berry's hasn't put anything up. So why are law enforcement talking to this guy? Who's a really? It, uh, I think he does searches with drones. I think. I think it was the guy I shown you last night on that video. I think. I'm not sure. Don't take me for that. But the, this guy apparently said he went to the police station and he was asking them. And I was going yes or no or maybe whatever. I'm thinking, why are they telling you this information? But they won't tell Seth. They don't tell the news people. You know what I mean? And this is why the problem with the news people is we say we've got to keep his name, Sebastian's name and picture out there. And why aren't the news people acting on this? Because they're not getting any information. And they have other cases to follow as well. It's not just Sebastian, there's other cases. So... If they're not going to get a regular update, they're going to have to they'll just keep moving on to another case and the same, you know what I mean? So they need to get regular updates and they're not getting that. So I don't know whether to believe what I heard in this TikTok. And what's annoying about TikTok is unless you catch that live, Unless you catch that live, you can't get to see it because it doesn't save it. Hmm. Right, so if you do a live on TikTok, it does not save it. And I'm thinking, well, that's no use. I live in the UK. Half of these people who are doing these TikToks and putting this information out there and doing these lives on the US, yeah? Which is normally when I'm asleep. So by the time I get up in the morning, the, the live has ended, but I can't watch it. If you're going to do a live about a case like Sebastian Rogers, and you want people to see it, either do it on Facebook, or, or put, open a channel up on YouTube. Open a flipping Channel up. Call it Sebastian Rogers. You name it. You know what I mean? But do it so people... And there's a lot of people who don't use TikTok. I've got TikTok and I barely use it. Barely use it. But I have got it. But it's pointless to me because if they're going to do a live, I can't... Unless I'm awake when they do these lives on TikTok, then... I'm not going to get to see these lives. Hold on a minute. Just got to sort my cat out. It's okay. I had a delivery come today. 
and it came in a big box. And I was looking at this big box when they gave me, I thought, I haven't ordered anything that big. You know what I mean? So I've got the box in the house, and I've opened it. And the box that's inside, I can understand why they've used that size box, but surely they could use a slimmer box, a box that is a bit slimmer. Anyway, oh, now he's trying to get to my peanuts. So, so it's like that. He's in a mischievous mood. No, you're not getting up here with the being up so. <clears throat> so, it's useless. So, I put a comment. Why well, not open a, do it on Facebook? Do it on a YouTube channel so everyone can see this thing. And then they can share it. And everything, you know what I mean? More people will get to see this information. But all we get are little clips that people uh, take who've watched it on live, obviously, and they just take little clips of it, like two-minute clips and three-minute clips. I'm thinking, that's no use to us. No use. So my whatever your name is, the PR to Seth, Sort that out, because there's a lot, I've noticed there's a lot of people not happy about that, not happy at all. So, apparently he only uses TikTok, rubbish, you've been on enough YouTube channels, Mike. Anyway, today... We're going to look at, when I can find it, I'll pull it up again. Oh. Mm -hmm. Of the house. Right, there it is. And it just, it's got all the images as well. And I've saved all the images and I've sent them to my email account. Right. So I've got them on there. But. I can show you on here as well. Right. Let's get to the first picture. All right, because I was a bit confused as to where the door would be to the garage. You know what I mean? So I think I figured out where it is, where the door is to the garage. But it doesn't actually show you that room. I think it's what people would call a mug room. Where probably you have your wash your laundry, your washing machine and dryer and things like that. So in the UK we don't have things like that. We just have a washing machine and dryer in our kitchen. <laughs> Although I would like a separate room for my washing machine and dryer. I would like a separate room. I probably could turn my because I've got a balcony and it's enclosed, so it's all got windows in. I could probably use that. Right, but it's the plumbing in of the washing machine. And then I go and buy a dryer because at the moment I don't have a dryer. I don't. My flat's very warm anyway, so everything dries very quickly in this flat, believe it or not. And um, so... I could do that, but I want to turn that into my little space for my for what I do on YouTube and for my craft work because I do a lot of craft, like five D diamond art, and I'm also got a project I'm working on with some wood for my son and his my daughter-in-law. So I've got that that I'm working on, and I've got my five D diamond art. I've just set up a new piece of work there, ready to start later. Anyway, forget that. 
40 photos. We'll go to the photos first. One. Just make sure you're seeing all this. Um, because I was also a bit flummoxed about Sebastian's room when they show it on the floor plan as I go through in the video. And when I seen the pictures, I was going from the picture, I kept going from the picture inside the house to the outside picture. And you'll understand why in a minute. Now I know, I also know why the windows seem so low to the floor, because of the steps. It's built up, isn't it? So it's quite a height off the floor. And the windows are quite low to the floor, as you'll see in the pictures. Oh well, I'm just trying to get this moved up a bit, maybe. No, it's not going to move that up. But that's the front of the house. And more pictures of the front of the house, the front door. Right now, here's the front door. There. So they, they say they keep the door, the shoes by. Now, this furniture in, on these pictures is not their furniture. This is furniture that was set up for when they were selling the house. So this was done. Obviously, before they brought the house. Right? Shush up. Anyway, so there's the front door. So I should imagine I keep the shoes either this side or over here. Right? There's the dining room. And that's the dining room from the view from the living room way. So you can come in the front room, front door, and you can come into the dining room, into the living room, which you'll see in a minute. You know what I mean? So you can either come through the front door, straight into the living room, or through the front door, into the dining room, into the living room. But you've got this little hallway here, which... I don't know where, I'm not sure about that hallway, because if you look at, you know what I mean, there's the front door, Sebastian's room is over here, yeah, is that a closet, perhaps if you go through that door, Sebastian's room is probably opposite there somewhere, opposite door, just down there somewhere. There's the living room again. The dining room, the kitchen, come dining, uh, breakfast unit. Now see this room here, this door here. I think that is where the laundry room is, and I think it's off there you can get into the garage. Because if you look at the front of the house, right, get the good one, right, you got the living, the dining room door, yeah. Then this is the window you see when you look through that door. So I think there's a door from there that leads into the garage. I might be wrong. I'm just assuming. You don't know if that could be the door to the garage. Doubt it. It'll probably be walking cupboard. Right. And that is a door that is not blocked. Because people can, how can you get out the back way if you've got a sofa in the front of the big doors? Because there's another door here. Now, this looks like their room. Because of the two windows. 
And you'll see when you go to the back of the house what I mean. Right? Now, this, I believe, is Sebastian's room, right? But what I don't understand is, it's got... One, two, three, four. Or is that just blinds, shutters? So it might be because... Four, two, two double shutters on his bedroom window. Hmm. Because he's only got a, a single window in his room. Hi, Tracy, ISG. Right? I'm confused with this layout of this house. <laughs> nice house. Should be a lot safer in that house than in a five-wheeler. Five so, we'll go back to his bedroom, which I believe was Sebastian's room, right? Which is this room. Right? Because if you look at that one, it's got two windows. And the two windows are at the back of the house. I like the bed. The beds they use for the... I don't think these were their beds. These are just furniture they're putting a house when it's going up for sale. You know what I mean? What they do in the UK. They don't do that in the UK. <laughs> Oh, right, so there's, you know, then, that can, the garage door. So, hold on. I just want to check something here. If I can see it. Hmm. Yeah. You know, the garage door, I don't think the garage door is off there, then. But, if we go back up here, that's the stairs to the loft. Where would the garage door be then? Could that be the garage door there? The door to the garage? Because it would go under the stairs and under the, into the garage way. Because that's the laundry room back there, where they've got the washer and dryer back there so unless they're just not showing the garage door in the pictures i don't know i don't know i'd like to know where the garage door is it's either got to be there or in that room somewhere in this room here somewhere to the over there but in that room, they've got washing dryer. Perhaps I could have a door just to the side of that. Possibly. And there's a loft. Right, office area, whatever they want to call it. Porch. Garden, yeah. But you see what I mean? At the back, they've got the four windows in their room, and on the door, on the back, other back room, they've got the two. So that would be Faith's room. Which is not going to be Faith's room because he's never going to get Faith. Sorry, sorry, CP. You're never gonna get him. Get her. We're gonna take the video tour anyway. I'm gonna take the music is off, so we're not got the music on. When I first asked about this, I said, "Oh, I need the floor. I need to have a floor plan of the house so I can see where his room was." Someone come to me and said, "That's illegal." What's illegal? To get a floor plan of a house. 
And then this come up. I thought, so is this illegal then, mates? I'm wondering if that is a garage door there. But this is their room. Because, it, again, it's got the two windows on. And it leads out to a hallway. This is a bathroom. Big bathroom for two. No, I'm not keen on these baths, though. I'm really not keen on them baths. See, this looks like the room Sebastian would have had. That one. So, oh dear. We'll get off. So, <coughs> <coughs> I don't understand. You know what I mean? It's like if you had an autistic child. Right. Would you have him sleeping on the room at the front of the house while you're sleeping at the back? I know I wouldn't. I could probably put him up in that loft area. You know what I mean? Okay, it hasn't got a bathroom. I'm not sweet or anything, but... I don't know. I just couldn't, I wouldn't be able to sleep properly knowing that I was so far away from my child and they was right by the front door and I'm at the back of the house on the other side. I wouldn't be able to sleep properly. So, it's, I don't know. Or I'd have had him in the back room if anything, you know what I mean? Not in the front room. I'd have had him in the back. If, I, if that was the situation, I'd have put him in the back bedroom. Not the front bedroom. But it shows... Yeah, I'm going to show you the video again. Okay. I'm going to stop the video when I'm ready. Oh god, it starts. Come on. You know what I mean? The neighbour saw him get the post one guy and come skipping along to the front door, then suddenly turn around and go around to the garage. Why? Right now, let me stop it. I right, can't off. Just go back a little bit. It's all open. Now, her bedroom is you go through that door, take a right, and it's down there. I don't know what's in that room. All right, so they've got a room there. They've got plenty of little rooms, side rooms. Right, and she said she got up and went in through his uh, uh, through to wake wake him up for school. She's got to come through the kitchen from her bedroom. She's from her bedroom through the kitchen. Right, through the kitchen, through the living room, through that door there, or wherever his bedroom door is. I'm not sure if that could have been his bedroom door. I doubt it. But through there, into his, down to his bedroom door. Right? Um, it's all open. So I'm sure she will get... <coughs> if he was hiding on her. Hi, Ellie. 
Right, if he was hiding, like she thought she, he might be, yeah, he could hide behind that wall, he could hide behind this wall, he could hide anywhere if you really want, you know what I mean? As she walked past him, he would have jumped out on her. Right? I can't play hide and seek with my grandson because he tells me where to hide. Or he'll go and hide and then he'll go, I'm here, I'm here. Okay, you're not supposed to tell me where you are. Story nonsense, yep, yep. Hold on, I'll get to my... Yeah, okay, uh, SJ, KP stories, nonsense. She saw a kitchen on the way to Sebastian's bedroom, exactly. Did she not think we would check up on all these things she's saying? You know what I mean? That's what the true crime community do. They check up on everything you say. We we do things that the police don't even do. Trying to get you on my TV. <laughs> Oh no, not on your TV. Right. And um, so we've got the time to sit there and dissect every word they say. Right. The police don't have that time. They don't. So um, it's a shame. It, it is a shame that they don't have that time to do that. But they don't, and I just don't understand. So, seeing this, when I saw this, I thought, I'm going to have to try and find that. It took me a while to find it, because you have to type in the right keywords sort of thing to find it. But this is their bedroom. Nice size bedroom. And just here, I believe it is, is a bathroom door. Yeah. Yeah. It's just off the bedroom. But this is the bedroom that Faith would have had. Because it's got the two windows on. And the two windows are at the back of the house. So this would have been the room Faith would have had. All right. This is the room Sebastian has. Right? Not saying this is his furniture. Not saying that at all. It's all uh, staged. It's all staging. You know what I mean? So it's obviously for the staging, they've gone for all this wooden look. Because in a house that size, you can have big bulky furniture. Right? I can have big bulky furniture. I'd love a bed like that. But my cats would claw it to pieces. Right? I don't understand how law enforcement could not realise KP was lying when law enforcement saw open in concept in house. Open concept in house, yeah. Well, have you heard the latest news? Right? Latest news, this was given out by Tony Mathis on that stupid TikTok, which I can't get to see because it doesn't save any live videos on TikTok. So you have to watch it and clip it, you know what I mean? So I've only seen little clips. And it says, hold on, Sebastian had been talking to... Katie's mother the night before he went missing. You seen the uh, live, did you, Tracy? I've only seen two little clips, and I'm thinking, I, I'm sitting here scratching my head now, thinking, how on out? You know what I mean? I don't know if to believe half of what was said. Right? But apparently, they must have got that off his phone. And um, so, uh, on the 26th, you know how people have been saying they've got the date wrong on the poster, the flyers, they've got the date wrong. 
when they keep saying he's last seen on the 26th. You know, they weren't lying. They weren't lying. They had a, um, a sighting of Sebastian on the 26th. Don't know whether he's walking, whether it was on a uh, car, uh, car, uh, cash, um, what are those car cameras, gas cams, whether it was, uh, perhaps that's what they mean by the uh, gas cam footage they've got. You know what I mean? Perhaps someone saw him on, drove past him and got him on gas cam, a uh, gas cam. Right? Uh, but that was on the 26th. So that was the last, uh, proof of life. Now, why won't they show Seth that one? Is it because there's someone involved? Would he recognise the car, maybe? Perhaps he was getting in a car. Perhaps he was walking along the road with someone. Don't know. But apparently that's why. Because they've got footage of him on the 26th. On the night time, I believe it's, they said. It was on the night time. They, go, they haven't said where. But they haven't even gave us a time. I don't think. They just said they've got footage of Sebastian on the 26th. Of February, the day he went missing, they've got footage of him. You know what I mean? And apparently, this other guy who coming into the dream team, as everyone keeps calling it. You know, if Seth wants to have this guy working on his team, that's Seth's choice. You know what I mean? Who are we to argue? We're not in Seth's position. We're not. And I'll stand by Seth. All the way. And this guy said apparently he went to the police station and he was asking questions. And you know that other guy who was doing the lot, who used to do the updates, the grey haired guy? I think it's him. He said the first 24 hours they classed it as. A run away. He run away. The second day, they classed him as as missing. Alright. I saw a video of TikTok. I do not believe Stephen or Tony. I wrote a lengthy comment on your other channel about Tony. On my other channel. Stephen and Yina and Miss Legion said, Yeah, I think they are. Yeah. Because why would someone like, what's his name, Stephen, be able to go up to the police and ask them these questions? They willy-nilly give him these answers, right? But apparently, after 72 hours, everything got flipped into another direction. So, what they mean by that, I do not know. Well... We do. They flipped it into a, uh, not an investigation, but a criminal. I'd say it's a criminal investigation. Law enforcement, Sumner County, Sheriff's Office, TBI. Stop your lies and just tell us we're not stupid. Two and two, ag foot make four. We know it's a criminal investigation. We know Seth isn't involved because he works at a, um, a prison or whatever it is. And he's on camera 24-7 because they've got criminals there, right? And so he was involved. But there's something I heard today when I was watching all these videos that everyone's been saying, oh, you need to watch this video, you need to watch this video, right? We will see if Tony and Stephen get the information we could, get the information we could, yeah. Right. Anyway. So, um, I believe in giving, it's like, people say, someone said to me years ago, if you wanted to 
uh, secure your house, right? Who would you ask? Who would I ask? And I said, you know who I'd ask? Someone who burgles homes. Because they'd know exactly. That, that, you know what I mean? And we used to have a programme in the UK. And the guy who used to run the programme, who was the host, he was an ex-criminal. And he would get his, his family to go out, just go out like they normally would, lock up like they normally would, or not lock up, right? And then he would, once they're out of the house, he would go in that house, right? To get in, even though these people have thought, thought I've secured my house up, no one's getting in this house. This guy will get into their house, right? And he'd just take a couple of little things, right? Just to prove to them that he's being in their house. Yep. And they can't recall law enforcement, not without telling them. They can't do that, Tracy. I don't know if this is true, but people have been saying it's illegal to do that in police department stations. I think it is. Oh, you found me on TV. I'm so glad my I'm not on live. You, it's only a profile picture you've got of me. And no, I don't have red hair. I have blonde. Well, I'd say blonde hair, yeah, but it's more grey than grey. <laughs> Subaru Steve. Hello, all. I keep having a dark feeling that a neighbour took advantage of Sebastian outside. And has taken him deep into one of them £700,000 homes in that community. It would explain a lot of things. Hmm. But apparently all the homes have been checked. But anything is possible. And what was it I was going to say? Someone said, today, wouldn't it be funny when school's finished? If all of a sudden, Sebastian came back into the picture. You know what I mean? I thought, no, no. They've all been checked or ser uh, searched. Right? But what I didn't like was the fact that they, from what I can understand is, you know, on that construction site, they, the police didn't actually check all their empty houses. The construction site owner, manager, said he would get his guys to check the properties they're working on and he will get back to the law enforcement. So the law enforcement didn't actually go and personally check all them empty houses that have been built. That's another big no no. Right? So well I don't know about what that guy was saying because I can't see law enforcement telling him this information about apparently it was him who said that apparently that the police said told him it was 24 hours they was classing it as a runaway then they classed it as a missing and then within 72 hours the whole case had flipped into another direction right I know what you mean, Subaru Steve, an evil what resident, yeah. But apparently they've been to all the residents and checked all those their houses. But we don't know because I know of a case, oh God, I think it was in the USA, US, where this guy had built in a, a little room where you went down a few steps to it and there's a little door and a little room underneath the floorboards or something like that. And this guy kept his child in there. And he put food in and water in for the child. Right? But the police didn't know he was in there. Because they couldn't hear him. Because he was in a box in like a built 
same for the box underneath or somewhere else where we dug a hole underneath the something and built this soundproof box to keep this child in. But I just, and people say, no, I wouldn't rule this out either because it's been done here in the UK. Karen Richards, I think her name was. She wanted to leave her husband. Right? And so she got her husband's uncle to go and collect her daughter from school and take her back to his. Right? But because her husband didn't go to work that day, she couldn't leave him. She couldn't leave the house. So when her daughter never come home that night, people are saying to her, oh, you've got to report it to the police. You've got to report it to the police. So she had to report her as missing. Right? Where really she knew where her daughter was. Why she didn't say where her daughter was, I don't know. But she did get found out and she did get sent to prison. And the guy did because he was out for kidnapping um, and everything, you know what I mean? But um, he's, he's dead now. He died, I think it was last year or this year, sometime this year he died. But it was all a hoax, just a big hoax. And the way and people go on about, oh, boy, it's a hoax, and look at all this money people are donating to Seth. Well, I'm sorry. All these people moaning about this money, have you donated? Have you donated one penny towards this? Because I'm sure if you have and you're not happy about it, I'm sure they'll give you the money back if you ask them. That's what I'm saying, SG. I do not believe law enforcement would give Stephen this info. I wouldn't even believe a tape, no. Yeah, and they need to come out because this is getting ridiculous now. They need to put some facts to bed. They need to straighten some of these stupid hypo hypotheses and whatever you want to call them out because... I don't know where to start. Every morning I get up and I think, where do I start now? You're getting, you're getting fed little droops and drabs. And that's no use. Because as one YouTuber just said, by those three facts, by the fact that they've said they've got a video of Sebastian on the 26th, right? And the fact that Sebastian was talking to Katie's mum the day before he went missing. And what was the other thing? And uh, the time t time plan, like from 24 to 48 to 72 hours, it's all changed. Yeah, they, that's what I said the other night. It shouldn't be like that, I'm sorry. Law enforcement need to stand in front of them cameras with a whacking great big picture of Sebastian behind them. So people know who they're talking about and get his picture and his name national on the news. Right? I heard someone say the other day, um, About Polk County. <laughs> he's that that sheriff there is on the ball. We need to call them and tell them they need to do a press release. They're not gonna listen to us. And I can't call them because they go, ha 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 ha, you're from the UK, feck off. You know what I mean? They're not gonna listen to people from the UK. So but I think these people of Tennessee in that county need to get on and start saying something because this is not right. There's people getting their names dragged in, like that shop owner. Right? You can't blame him for what the police didn't do. You know what I mean? 
You can't say, well, it's to give out better technology. Why? This technology has been firing up until now. Yep, I said that the other day as well, Ellie. We need to hang this over to FBI. TBI need to come in and say, look, this is getting ridiculous now. Come in, squash all these rumours and sort this case out for us. Because we, I know for a fact, Seth said in that Pascal interview, that when he told TBI about having that DCS report, they hadn't got one. They hadn't got that report. So he said, I will devise you then to phone some of the county's sheriff's office and get the unredacted forms. Because they've had them from day one. So they haven't even been giving TBI all the information. Why not? It doesn't make sense. This case is, as someone said, it's not paying them to... Barrow socks aren't paying them to look any other way but as a missing child. Yep, we need some big names on this petition. Big names. But who could do that? Who could get that those names on this petition? You know what I mean? I might go on to uh, oh, Taylor Swift, is it? Taylor Swift's page. I think it's an X account. And put a post up again for Sebastian. And I'll put the link to the petition there. Because she went to high school there in Hendersonville. You know what I mean? So, because it's just getting ridiculous. But I do believe, okay, people saying, ah, oh, but Seth has got all these criminals work, working for him. Right? Well, I hope to God they're not going to do It may, it may not. You can't do any harm, though, SG. Having a petition, and if you could get some big names on it, it wouldn't harm it. It wouldn't harm the case. You know what I mean? So, but what was I saying? Now? Um, oh, God. On one YouTube channel today, I was watching, the caller's phone ding. Right, and he's a regular on their chat in their chat. Right, but he phoned in and he was having a go about Seth having all this money donated to him and everything. And he said, Nope, I'm not, we're not going to go there, we're not going to talk about that because I firmly believe that this money we raise money for families like this all the time. You know what I mean? So don't come here telling me he shouldn't be having this money. What would you do if it was your child and you was not at work and you had bills to pay? What would you do? Oh, yes, you'd get a go from me, but no one would moan at you then, would they? And she wasn't having it. You know what I mean? No one's, a lot of people have stopped signing me. We need more, we need to get this petition out, honestly, I've got the link, I will put the link, um, there it is, it's coming up now, it's going along the bottom with his cash app, right, and um, it's just so frustrating, and I'm fed up of hearing people go wrong about this money that had been going out here. and and then say, they're also going on about him hiring this woman near a glass. Okay, she's got um, a criminal background, but come on, give everyone a second chance. She runs an organ, she runs a group or an organisation, right? So you got to give everyone a second chance in life. Otherwise, you have all these criminals, and then they're thinking. 
Well, what's the point in bettering myself if no one's going to give me the chance? I knew a guy who would only employ uh, ex-cons. But he used to have a, a thing where he said they'd sign it, and if they messed up once, just once, they was gone. So if they got pulled for drugs or for if they for burglary or anything like that, if they got pulled by the police for anything, right, and they found guilty, they were gone. They wouldn't get another chance with them. He only gave them the one chance. But he used to employ them. And these guys, you know what I mean? It changed their lives. So you can't judge people just because they've, they've got a past. You know what I mean? You cannot do that because it's not fair. You've got to let everyone prove them some way. This is complicated in a political way. Why would you say a political way, SG? Uh, I'm going to say how it's political. Corrupt. I'd say it's corrupt. Um, petitions are people's powers. You know what I mean? So please, anyone in this watching on YouTube, please, if you haven't signed that petition, it doesn't cost you anything. It takes a couple of minutes. I signed it weeks ago. Weeks ago when it first came out. Right? Just go and sign it. It just help. It might help. It may not. But you're not going to lose anything. You're not being charged anything for it. I'm not asking any personal details. So just go and sign it. If you're here for Sebastian, which I hope you are, go and sign it. Because something needs to get done now because I'm getting so fed up of cuisine. It's like this... It's like a boxing ring, right? You've got Seth and his team in one corner. You've got Chris and Katie and their little team in one corner. Now, Chris and Katie have gone very quiet, which has surprised me. Especially after that phone call came out. I really thought Chris would say something. Good one, Tracy. Yeah, I think I signed it, literally. As soon as I was given that petition, I signed it. But I have been watching it and it has slowed down. So we need to get that petition back up. People going out to sheriffs won't go against the sheriff and sheriff won't give against go give against them. It is far more complicated than that. But I've worked with campaigns and I know how favours work. Mm, yeah. So it's all corruption and it shouldn't be not when it's well, not for any case, not for child's case, not for a, a man, a woman, or anything. You know what I mean? There should be no corruption at all with the police. They are, they work for you. Like our police work for me in the UK. They work for me. We pay, our taxpayers pay for them, right? And, um, So they work for us. But now, um, right, what else was I going to talk about tonight? There was something else on the other ones. Oh, yes. As you lot said to go and watch the YouTube channel with um, Josh and Chris and that other guy, I can't think of his name now. Right, I went and watched it and it was interesting. And I didn't have it on fast speed either because I had it on my TV, so I can't do it fast speed on my TV. And um, it was very interesting. And I like that thing he mentioned near the end. But the gla it's called G-A-R. 
Oh, yeah. G-I-R Forensics. It's Gladiator Forensics. And I talk about how even with your phone turned off and if you take your battery out, they can track you because your phone is still giving off a signal. I don't know how that works, but I was going to, I'm going to have a look at that tomorrow because they did pull it up while I was on a live and they're scrolling through it sort of thing. I thought, wow, I'm going to have to look into that. So I did watch it. Hey, I'm not, I'm not just saying I did. There's looking at that interview that he did with the newscaster. And he mentioned the dynamics between KPCP and SR and how they was making out it was all nice and rosy when really it wasn't. It wasn't. Um, something happened. I still go back. Oh, no. This is something I didn't pick up on, but I don't look at body language. I look at the words. I'm not I'm no expert in it. But... I do pick up on certain things, like with the talking, the negative or the positive, like, like, it, it, like, I was listening to the police recording today with Stephen Stern, right, when they was going over his, this was when, before they arrested him, and they was going over w- where they went that morning, how they got to the school, and where did they go, and things like that. And he was talking about her then, as in the, she was a lovely girl. She loved this, and she loved that. No, she loves that. She still, you know what I mean? He was talking in the negative. So I pick up on things, hi Kim French. So that's what I was looking at. I was list I listen to words. As I said, I'm no expert, I'm not I haven't got no diploma, nothing. I just listen to words. But they was looking at the body as well, like um how they was mirroring each other. And it says Katie is mirroring CP. The hands, the head. Right. You know when they talked about Sebastian getting something in his head, right? And um, it's and Chris goes, he gets something in his head, and he goes, just and he drops his head and puts his hands out. Kath, Katie, done the same thing. Dropped her head, hands out, but her thumbs were down because she had something in her hands. Kim, I don't know. It was something about it was a text Katie's mom, mother. Now I thought she was uh, estranged from her family. Right? So how did text them to say, "Look, I need out of here," not me, and the went. And that was on his phone, I think. I think they found it on his phone. But apparently he was texting her mother. Now, it may not be, it may be a stepmother, um, a foster mother, I mean. We don't know. Because apparently she was estranged from her own family. She went into into foster care because of what her mother did to her, right? So why would she have any contact with her mother again, knowing what her mother put her through? And why would she let her son have any contact with her? So I'm thinking, could it be the foster mother she was talking to? He He was texting. 
Because if I'd been put in foster care, right, at the age of five, and I'd been with this woman until I, I was, what, 16 or 18, Yeah. Uh, Tony said that apparently they found out that um, Sebastian had been texting the mother. But I don't know. I don't think it'd be her mother. I think I'm thinking could it be her foster mother? But why is she getting so upset? Oh my god! Just had a bit of deja vu then. Oh my god. Oh, oh God, why is she getting so upset, so upset about people looking into her background? No, I, I totally agree with you there. They're not going to tell him nothing. They're not. So, because if that was the case, as one YouTuber said, well, if that's the case, we can all just dodge up to the police station and say, look, you're not giving any presses. Can we have some information? And they will willingly tell you. You know what I mean? No, it's not happening. But apparently he's got a recording. Now, if this, is this the same guy that went to that store? Because I know he got a recording in the store, but he did say he was recording, and would that be okay? And they said yes. But he wasn't putting that out to the public. He was keeping that for Seth. You know what I mean? Um, me, I think if that had been me, I'd have just come on to a live onto the panel and said, look, I know you've all been researching my, my background. Yes, it was him, the one I showed last night then. Right. So I'll just, if, if I'd have been KP, I'd go, look, I know you all have researched my background and this information was being put out before that live, believe it or not, right, I don't have nothing to do with my family, because of what happened to me when I was five years old, now I'm not going to divulge what happened to me, because it's none of your business, I wouldn't have got angry, but I would get angry if they kept pushing and pushing and pushing afterwards. Because um, I played that YouTube, his, um, video last night. But I don't know, it's just too weird. It's just getting out of control. But apparently Kate, Katie mirrors a lot of the actions that CP does. Oh, and some else that was brought up. Right? When they did that interview, right? Chris hadn't been brought into it yet. Neither had Seth. Seth still hasn't been brought into it. But then... They're talking to Katie, and Katie's telling them what happened in the day, on the night time. That's when she brings Chris into it. Why did she bring Chris into it? But CP's gone very quiet. He's probably letting, giving us a rest from hearing his mouth go all the time. Hopefully he's lost his voice. Hi, Gigi. But he'll be back out. 
I'll tell you now, he's a narcissist and he likes to be in the limelight. So when the attention isn't on him no more, and someone said today, apparently, he's not going to these big channels no more. He's going to these smaller channels because the big channels won't have him on YouTube no more. They won't have his BS. So it's... He's got no one to go to no more. Oh, the gums. CP, are you feeling lonely? I'm only a small channel, but I still don't want you on here. I'd have Katie. But yeah, that's what they said today, that she's moving whatever CP does. And that's her form of control. Because he started the conversation off as well. He started the talking about how Sebastian gets something in his head and all that stuff. And he said, that is her way of saying she needs help. And did I not say last night, that rocking back and forth is like her saying, I want to tell the truth, I want to tell the truth, but I can't. Tony said you would get big channels but went smaller. It's full of nonsense. Mm. I know. Why isn't he getting these big channels? Why isn't he going national to these big TV channels? You know what I mean? But all, all the attention at the moment is on Tony, not even Seth so much, it's Tony, Nina and that Stephen guy. And they're doing their rounds, aren't they? And I'm thinking, really? But okay, we've all done some criminal, all oh, not, so, not so good things in our past. Be the first to cast a stone if you've never done anything bad in your life. But I was curious about that three-hour phone call. Everyone's curious about that three-hour phone call. I'm curious about what was in her hand. I'm going to try and pull up that video again. Because she's got something in her hand and I don't know what it is. It's not tissue. No. Alright, let's have a look. Let's see if I can find that section without going through them all again. Oh, I'm going to right. share this tab. I don't know what part of the interview it was in them. Um, you know what I mean? Tonight, the parents oh, of two God. missing teen in Sumner County described to us exclusively how they feel on day eight of their son's disappearance. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Marius Pate. And I'm Lauren Lowry. So I think Rogers it's in this one, actually. We could probably just seen by get away with watching on this one. In Hendersonville. Sebastian has autism, and he's gone without his medication this whole time. And since then, authorities have searched by air, by foot, and on horseback. Back. Helicopters, drones, and dive teams have also been brought in to try to find him. Today, his parents spoke exclusively to our Holly Thompson. She's in Sumner County. Holly, I imagine it was quite an emotional interview. Uh, certainly was. It is hard for any of us to imagine the emotions that this family is going through right now. But we know one thing is certain. They remain positive. They are holding on to hope hope that their son Sebastian will return home safely.
can you walk us through what you're thinking right now? I just want my baby to be okay. I don't know where he's at. Mom Katie broke down several times in our interview, but says her hope is strong that her son Sebastian will be found safe and returned home. He's going to walk through that door and this street will be flooded again with family and relatives all waiting to hug him, love him. And Stepdad Chris says it's been a an emotional roller coaster that all started Sunday night, February 25th. Pretty normal. He was playing in his room um, when I told him to go to bed. He did. <laughs> um, he said, good night, Mom. I love you. Katie says she went to wake up Sebastian around 6 a.m. Monday for school, and he was gone. Within minutes, Katie says she was on the phone with Chris, who was working out of town, and they quickly called 911. And he's not a runner. He's never run away before. Um, I don't know why. I don't know why he walked out that door. I mean, he's, he's a good kid. He's not. He's not a mischievous child by any means. Katie and Chris say Sebastian is not on social media. While he loves to play Minecraft, they tell me he does not have any online capabilities. I asked if there was any reason he might want to leave. We've been combing over that day oh, and man. even the weeks before he left, and I don't, I haven't been able to figure it out. He's, um, that morning he was laughing, he was joking. It's as if Sebastian vanished. No. Oh, I'm gone. So much going on here. I start to annoy me. Where is it? No sign of him on any video throughout the community. Thousands of miles logged by law enforcement, canines, helicopters, even dive teams, and no sign of him. Chris and Katie tell me they've been harassed. People pointing fingers at them. You're not in this situation. You don't quite understand. Um, I wish people would step back, take a different wide open view and not assume what they know. It's just better to stick to the facts. Are you both in the clear? I can tell you that mom, myself and the father in cooperatively with all agencies across the board. We have I'm hoping they show that bit with the hands. Anything that they've wanted, we have provided. What do you want to say to Sebastian? What do you want him to hear from you? Are no, you I don't think they show it in this clip. So much. And we want you to come home and you're not in trouble. Yeah. Now, Katie did tell me that even though Sebastian does have autism he is a smart teenager he is highly functional they say if you see him say his name say sebastian and he'll respond he'll at least acknowledge you and i can right all right so but apparently it's no one they ask him about and they talk about how he gets his mindset she mirrored him Apart from her thumbs being down, because she had something in her hand. And I don't know what it was. It was something black. Right. But yes, um, they mentioned that to guys. Well, I don't know why I walked out that door. She closes her eyes. They did say something about that, but I missed what they said about that. I think she, it was something like she recollects. Re she recollects what happened to him. But it's like her saying she needs help. And I think now she's gone on medication and she's probably drinking, which isn't helping. But Trace, Katie does need to come clean. It's the only way she's going to help her. Just come clean. Because this is getting out of control. If it was an accident, say it was an accident. Why? If she put him outside as a punishment, you know, some people say, you know, when they say they used to put him outside until he calmed down or whatever. Perhaps they used to put him outside as well without no shoes on as a punishment. 
because they know how he didn't like going outside without shoes. Right? But I don't think if she, if he was texting her mother the night before he went the night before he apparently went missing on the twenty sixth. If he was texting her on the twenty fifth and he might be arranged something with her or the family, would he not have took a bag with him? Would he not have took his phone with him? His money, his gaming thing he loved. It really is out of control. This is worse than um, Summer Moon Utah Wells. Well, they want Chris on, don't they? I was watching it and they said, we'd love Chris to come up on the panel. Perhaps when we have our next one, part two, Chris would like to come up on the panel because we know he's watching all these big channels. He's watching them all. Yeah. Right? That's what he does. He goes to work, comes home, has a sleep, straight on watching all these channels. But yeah, Chris, they need Chris to interrogate him. <laughs> but you see, really, they don't need Chris because this is what happened last time because Chris was asked to go up and speak to Candice, right? Now, bear in mind, he didn't put that video out until a year after, at least a year or so after. She'd been missing. He didn't put that video out. They they wouldn't trust having anyone working with anyone from the um oh from that organisation. They wouldn't work with anyone from that organisation because Chris McDonough betrayed their trust. But it was like a year after he'd done that video, about a year after he spoke to them that he put that video out. So they had plenty of time to get into the uh, Cold Case Foundation, who he works with, but they never did. And then, uh, because it was his uh, organisation that asked him to go up there. He didn't go up there, make a phone call, say, oh, I'm Chris McDonough, can I come and visit you? He was asked to go up there, so that's when he made the phone call to arrange to meet Candice, which they did do at that river at that lake. All right, Gigi, you have a new theory. What is he? I think Sebastian was texting his grandmother and she promised him something, maybe money or new game. He waited till mum fell asleep, went to meet her at the retention pond. Hmm. That is a good theory. I think he did go out without shoes, thinking he was being sneaky and was going to just run down to meet her and come right back. But she snatched him up. Ooh. 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 That is interesting, Gigi. That is interesting. You know what I mean? Because to get the items, she say, well, I've got them in my car, come on, come down to my car. You know what I mean? And that's when he's got thrown into a car. But apparently, they have, they have him on camera. So was it on the 26th? They don't say what time. Or where they just say they have him on camera. Now I'm wondering, is that that uh, car cam, uh, gas cam? You know what I mean? Or was it one of the houses like that first house on the corner? 
where I went down to the corner of the road and up towards the construction site. Perhaps it was one of the houses that got him on camera. We just don't know because the police law enforcement aren't telling us nothing. And they don't have to tell us anything. Hi Lady K Talks. They don't have to tell us anything, but this is just getting ridiculous, you know what I mean? With all these like, all these little bits, drips and drops they're giving us. It's ridiculous. How do you all think he, he got her number? That's another thing, yes. How would he get her number? If Katie had nothing to do with her family. How would you get her number? And surely Katie would know if he was texting her. But then again, he's 15 years old and we all know how 15 year olds can be sneaky. Oh yes. Not saying nothing about my son or my daughter. They was angels. Yep. If you believe that comment, you believe anything. But no, um, there's been, there was information that has been put out that Sebastian was texting Kate's mother the day before he went missing. And he was last seen in the Stafford Court area on the 26th. Yeah, because people was questioning that. Do you remember a few weeks ago, people was going, why have they got the last seen on the 26th on the flyers? And I thought, no, they must have meant the 25th. I kept saying they must have meant the 25th, because that's when he was last seen, on the 25th. They probably just got the dates wrong. But they hadn't. But this is coming from a guy, right, who apparently just went up to the police station and asked him some information, and he gave, they gave it him. Maybe Seth communicated with that, and that's a big secret they've been talking about. I don't know, just at all. No, I don't think Seth would. He knows what her mum was like. He wouldn't want Sebastian around to her mother. Hang on, show that one again. I bet Chris and Kate put the cameras in the garage, yeah. So it's it's like a jigsaw puzzle where, you know, you think you're getting to the, putting it all together, right? Then all of a sudden, someone comes and drops something on your jigsaw puzzle and it smashes it up. You know what I mean? It's like that. And you sit there and you think, I've just spent five hours working on that jigsaw puzzle and you come and drop a ball on the table or something. You know what I mean? Katie did say Sebastian was texting a family member at Texas Roadhouse. When, remember, she never said who he was texting. I think Katie knew. Yeah. Oh, yes, yeah, didn't she? Maybe Biffy, Biffy wasn't, wasn't him, but KB. Hmm. Oh my God, is that what they're saying, Tracy? Sebastian's phone last pinged at the construction site by the garage can. By the, um, by one of their big bins. Oh my God. Hmm, I want to see some evidence. Like that woman on that TikTok, so she said, I want to see uh, the proof of all this, you know what I mean? I want to see why they changed their minds from going missing, from going from a runaway to missing to complete 180 in 72 hours.
What do you mean maybe it was her and not Sebastian, Ellie? Every theory, throw it in here. Because that's all we got at the moment. We've just got theories. We've got nothing else. The only facts we know, and I'm not even putting these facts in that they've come out with today, well, last night. The only facts we know is that he went missing on the 26th of January, uh, February, between 12 p.m. and 6 a.m. Right. Maybe Ellie come to Tony. I'm gonna quickly. Maybe Ellie come to Tony. The person that read the text said it appeared to be Sebastian text, and maybe they knew by the way he typed. Hmm. Hmm. This is getting weirder. The only true facts we've got is he went missing on the 26th of February, between 12 p.m., 12 a.m. and 6 a.m., right? He left the house with no shoes, no coat, nothing else, right? They had one dog hit on, right, in those Chris says three, that went to the retention pond, but they call it a false negative, false positive hit. Um, what else? Nazi. That is it. We don't know anything else because they haven't told us anything else. Oh, there's some apartments going up. Oh, right. Well, Terry Lynn lives in the area, so she knows every what everything that's going on. So, but I really do think the police need to come out and give a statement and literally clear all these flipping stupid rumours up. Because I don't believe that, Stephen. I don't. Why would law enforcement tell a guy I, who's been helping in the searches with the drones, apparently, even though police were using their own drones, but he was helping with the drones. Right? And why would they tell him that, but not Seth, or Chris, or KP? Why? Where's she? She's been everywhere, though, terrorizing us. You know what I mean? I feel sorry because some one place where she was searching, she didn't finish it, but she couldn't finish it because someone put out where she was searching. And she don't put out where she goes searching for her own safety and for the safety of whoever she's with. We still got Liz doing an update on their website. Debunk. Yeah, just debunk all this stupidness because... I'm losing my patience with them. I really am. Now, if that was a place here, I'd be, I'd be right on the case. If I was doing my channel now like this, and a case come up here like that, and the police wasn't giving us any information, I would be right on to them. You know what I mean? But I'm not. I'm in the UK, not in the US. So the only thing I can do is talk about Sebastian and get his name and his picture out there and keep doing this. Terry Lynn should have a blog in Kajiva searching. Yeah. If she goes out, sometimes she's on her own, sometimes she's with her, some of her mods or whatever. But she never gives out where, where they're searching. But, um... Someone gave out where she was searching, so she had to stop searching there. So, oh 
I'll just turn my phone off because it's going to die. So, um, no, it's, I can't, I, I did, I sat there and I even watched, um, what's his name? Peter Hyatt as well. Right? And he said some interesting things. It's like someone kept putting up in the comment, nine days before interview and no plea. Exactly, they had nine days before that first actual official interview they did on the Monday. Why? With the news KSMV4. And they put no plea out for him. So he's had nine, day, nine days to work on her. Stick to the story we said on the phone, stick to that story. And um, I know they've got the technology to find out whether that phone was sitting in one place or if it was moving. Nine days, yeah. I don't know, a lot of people mean wank, you know what I mean, but there's a lot of people who are putting out bad information. They're putting out a lot of bad information. And I sometimes wonder, why are they, like all this information we just had from that one TikTok interview thing, right? Um, why... Is it like to throw us off? And if you're doing that, then you're not here to help Sebastian. Well, you're not here to help Sebastian if you're just going to throw curveballs all the time. We just want everyone to stop with their flipping lies and get on with finding Sebastian. This is no joke now. This is no laughing matter. You know what I mean? This is 80 plus days now. Yeah, coming up to three months. Not on. Someone said they believe he might be moving him, moving him around. But what would be the point in that? Like, I keep going back to that part, point where... Why would they put him in, into hiding? He was going to live with his dad in May at the end of school term. He was going to live with his dad. And him and his dad had had that conversation about online school. He got a god, a god child or whatever who was on who worked online. So he he gave him there, and it was only just until so that he could get his um so that he wouldn't lose time from school, and he could still go and get his therapy that he needed. Right? So then once he's worked on that therapy, he can be, and he's realising what he's got to do to help himself, he can then go into a school, you know what I mean, without having any problems. <coughs> and I agree with Seth there. Why put him into a school where A, he wouldn't know anyone, B, he's got to go to therapy, so he'd be losing time from school. And then you've got the kids going, oh, why weren't you in school yesterday? Oh, you go therapy, what for? You know what I mean? You know, you know what kids are like. And um, so while he's doing online school, he can also go to his therapy without missing anything from school. So, but Seth said he spoke to Sebastian about that. It wasn't permanent. It was only temporary. So, I think that was just a a little dig in the ribs to Seth from Chris. Lock him up for hitting Sebastian with belt and go in, get her in the interrogation room without him. Give her a plea bargain. She will confess, in my opinion. 
I think that they need someone who will get, they, they've got two people, right? There might be more involved, we don't know. Right? Now they need, as I said, it all depends, no more they said they pass their polygraphs. Right? Well, you have to ask them the, the questions in the way they talk. Right? Now, Seth, uh, Chris didn't see anything wrong with hitting a child with a belt. Right? So you have to ask a question in his way of thinking. I don't know how you could word it. I'm not his way of thinking. My way of thinking is punch his lights out and put him six foot under. But, <laughs> but this is what Peter Hyatt said. You've got to ask him in the questions in the way that they think. So if he don't think there's anything wrong with hitting a child with a belt, then you've got to ask him a question in that way of thinking. So that's why they need people like Peter Hyatt or someone else like him to do the questioning. Yeah? Because they know how to ask them the questions. Exactly. Um, I agree with Ellie, lock him up for it, Sebastian. But you see, they wouldn't lock him up. That wouldn't be a case where they'd lock him up. Right, he get out on bail for that. Um, but they need to give a give a give a a plea bargain because something went on in that house, and I think something happened over the Christmas period for Nina, his ex-wife, to put that TPO ring or whatever she did. Right. As soon as her daughter came home, her daughter told her what had happened or what had been said. And she went, as soon as the courts were open, she went and put that temporary, temporary restraining order or whatever on him, TRO or something like that. Right? So something happened or something was said over Christmas. And Faith told her mum. And then uh, DCS was called out in January. Right, and then in February, he moved down with his five wheeler down to Yogi Bears. I'll tell you something though, Tracy. I showed the maps last night of that, and it's a big area lots of open land, lots of forestry. It's a hell of a big area. KP doesn't have to speak to law enforcement. What do you mean? I don't know. Over here in the UK, it'd be a slap on the wrist. Hi, but I don't know what it is in the US, but they get bail. You'd be out on bail. You know what I mean? And it probably wouldn't even go to court. It probably wouldn't even go to court. You'd probably just get a fine. No one ever does Miranda rights. Well, in Scotland, right, in the UK, in England, there was groups of people that would go round um, tracking pedos, the P people, right? And they could hold them, they would find, that as soon as they collared them, right, and confirmed who it was and everything, they would then phone the police and they could hold that person there until the police come, right? But in Scotland, you can't do that. If that person 
you track them down and you find out, yeah, you're the guy, okay, if that person wants to walk off, you've got to let them walk off, you can't hold them. So, we don't have that in Scotland, you can't do citizens of rest in Scotland. You can in England, but not in Scotland. Have you heard about the DCFS case, the last one? It's been said Chris isn't allowed to be left alone with Sebastian. That's what's in the report Seth just got. That's what I was saying. That's why Chris got his five-wheeler and toggled off down to Yogi Bear. And he was staying in that. Because everyone was saying, well, I can understand him staying in that while he's at work. But why wasn't he coming home on the weekends? Because I know if I worked away from home, I'd be coming home on the weekends. I'd want a nice comfy bed on a Friday and Saturday night. And if I could get away with having a comfy bed for the Sunday night and go back early Monday morning, I would. Right? But, um, they couldn't understand. And I knew straight away when I found out he wasn't coming back at all. I thought, hmm, that's because he's not allowed to be in the house with Sebastian. So, I think, as I said, so it goes back, right back to Christmas time, right, uh, if not before. But it all kicked off when Chris was told he had to move out the house. He could not be in the house while Sebastian was there. And that would upset Katie, because that's her, that's her husband. She wants to be with her husband and she can't because of her son. Yeah? Uh, I tell you, when they lawyer up, you know something big is about to happen. I tell you that much. If they lawyer up, it's because something big is about to happen. Seth is lawyered, but not because of any reason that the police are going to arrest him. Because the lawyer was able to help him get... <coughs> <coughs> help him get the information he needed. State to turn in makes one well, makes decisions if case to call take if takes to call. I hate to say this, but you must realise there are far worse cases of child abuse. Yeah, I know. Yeah. You know what I mean? There are far worse cases. Far worse. But this one, because I, as I said, Chris was hoping it would be put down as a runaway and whatever. And if it wasn't for Seth, it would have been. But now hearing what they're saying, apparently, that within 72 hours, everything got flipped 180. So it's like, okay, so what happened for it to get flipped? You know what I mean? So is that when they had the video footage, camera footage of Sebastian? Yeah, everyone kept saying to get a lawyer, get a lawyer. Because they would help with him process all this uh, legal work that he needed to. Like getting the DCFS report and all that. Like they can help him with that. So, I think he did the right thing by getting that. And then people are saying about the money. The money is going towards this flipping lawyer to help him get the information that he needs for his son. This is why I don't believe he needs these other two people. He just don't need this Nina Glass or this Stephen guy. He doesn't. Unless they're actually going to get out there Boots on the ground, searching. You know what I mean? Show us you're doing something. And we, then we might think, okay, you're helping. 
you know what I mean? But as I said, you gotta give everyone a second. You gotta, you can't judge everyone by the book, by the cover. You gotta, you gotta read into what the what happened in their life. Once you get to know someone, you think you know what this person isn't that bad. Yes, they've had a, a rough start. They've done some bad things. Yeah. It has took him two and a half months to get that report. And that's why, remember that threat uh, Chris made towards Seth when he found out that Bobby was now talking to Seth. And Seth said, uh, Chris said, well, if Chris repeats anything that Bobby told us to him, you know, if, if Chris, if Bobby has told Seth what he has told us, and Seth opens his mouth. I'll make sure his, his mouth is shut for good. Right? What is it that law enforcement have on Chris? It's re two and a half months. He should, he should have been informed every time CPS was called to that house. Yeah. He had 50-50, but he wasn't informed. You know, if, he, if he'd been informed, I'm sure Seth would have said, like someone said, how can you only see your child four days a month when you had the opportunity to have him whenever you wanted? Because he's got to work. He's still got to work. You know what I mean? Um, so it annoys me when I see comments like that People put comments like that up. On that Facebook page Mysterious Disappearance of Sebastian Rogers It's starting to bug the life out of me Hmm Yeah Yeah I believe so As I said I Something else has said, I think there's more than one case, more than one incident in that report. But as Seth said, he can't tell us what's in it. I knew he wouldn't be able to tell us. But Tony was just hyping it up to get people there to get the views, you know what I mean? And then it's a big letdown. But if anyone with any common sense really would know, he can't tell you nothing. As soon as I heard that, I thought, no, he can't. He won't be telling us nothing about those reports. Even though I stayed up to watch it but then fell asleep on my sofa. So, oh God, let's just pull this up. Let's have this going while we're talking. All right, while we're talking, we'll just have this going. If I can get it up on my screen. Mm -hmm. That's where I want to pitch my tent on their doorstep. <laughs> now, would that be the door to his bedroom or what? It's confusing the layout of that house because there's like <clears throat> another corridor behind there. You know what I mean? Unless Sebastian's bedroom door is right behind by that entrance. But it's so open plan, you can see right through, you know what I mean? And who's this person? Apparently, oh God's sake, I swear to God. No, move. Who's this shaggy person? That's been seen. Oh, yeah, I mean, I'm going to have to stop something here because. Let's stop this a minute. Let's go back to this. What's on? I'm going to stop that. Let's. Oh, God's sake. Get rid of that. Get this back up again. 
Right, I'm sure Chris's mum paid people. Right. Oh, yeah, let's just see what's going on with the comment. I heard, I heard people with criminal past have a wrong hiring an individual with money. Crimes to handle my money. No, give me advice back money. And that's it, so I have returned advice and said, uh, right, okay. What is wrong with releasing footage of Tibby and the granny, tr and the granny trash by Tibby? Exactly! If that isn't the last uh, proof of life they've got of him, if they've got one after that, why can't they release that one? <laughs> so Christmas mum people pay yeah, it wouldn't surprise me. Like law enforcement to turn the other way. The only case I saw DCFS in Illinois has been sued just for the death of Gabby. I know. That is heartbreaking. I've watched that. I have watched all of that. And it just breaks my heart to think about that. And, you know, after that case got... After they found out and charged them and they got found guilty, right? Two weeks after that case finished, they had another case of another child in the same, in the same state, in the same town. And you have a child. Found in a motel room. It was in a motel. And the child was found in there, in the live. So it's just, a, it's daily. I wouldn't even say it's weekly. Well, I'd say it was daily. Cases like this is happening. So, and no one knows about it, and yeah. I sometimes see young kids, right? And then they've been about the same age as my grandson, right? Six, seven. And they're walking around the streets on the road by themselves, or with a friend about the same age. And I'm thinking, what? What? I know when my kids were that age, they was not walking around the shops by their own. No way. Too much. SG happens too much. I think Seth is going to use the CPS paperwork to his benefit and Sebastian will be found. Well, I'm keeping hope. You've got to have hope. You've got to keep that hope that he is alive. Because you can't do anything else. You can't. And there's so much BS going around at the moment. It's just unbelievable. So, but the fact that they got him on video on the 26th by Stafford Court, because that was some hours when it was put on Stafford Court. They didn't say the house. They didn't say last thing. At his home on Stafford Court on the 26th. They said in the area of Stafford Court. And that's what kept throwing people, you know what I mean? No, but I see, I understand what you're saying, SG. Paperwork isn't going to show us where he's at. But if that is, if that is along with a video they've got of Sebastian on the 26th, they might have, and the report from the child services, whatever it is, they might be able to put two and two together and get four. You know what I mean? You think, hold on. This has been happening at home. It's got him on camera. Walking along this road or getting into a car on this road or at a shop on this road or where that. So, but we don't know where the camera, what camera it was, whether it's a camera from a shop, in store, a uh, car cam, dash cam, traffic light. We don't know. And I think we need, to, they need to tell us that at least. At least I could say it's a gas cam video. It's 
so we could say, okay, so he was, like you say, he was walking along this road at such a time on the 26th. Gas cam video caught him. Fine. You know what I mean? Then let the see the, 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 all these YouTubers and these, some of these YouTubers are just out for clickbait for whatever they can get. They really are. And as I said, I'll never click, do a clickbait title. Never. Never will I ever do a clickbait title. And if I do, you lot have got the right to give me a slap. Okay? Because I don't believe in clickbait. And now he's throwing things somewhere else than the house. Yeah, apparently, I've just read on a comment, they like pinged up by the uh, construction site. But how can his phone ping at the construction site when his phone was at the house? Oh my God, I just realised what I just said. That comment back up here. Hold on, see if I can find you. Is it going to let me go off? Can't find you, but no, that's just. I've just realised when I read that comment earlier, he didn't have his phone on him. So how can he be pinging at the construction site? Do you know what I mean? How can his phone ping at the construction site if he didn't have his phone on him? Oh my god, I'm going to have to write like that because I'm going to forget that. Because he didn't have his phone on him. So, how, please, anyone, how can that happen? Well, it would show how serious it could be and change the investigation from missing to criminal. Yes. Someone on here said it earlier that his phone was pinging at the construction site. Or last pinged at the construction site. I know it did, it was on here. So, so, I don't know. How can his phone ping at the construction site if his phone was back home? That means Katie has got a lot more to do with this thing, it's being said. You know what I mean? I can use phone ping at the construction. I'm going to have to check. I'm going to have to uh, check this out now. Because I know someone put it in the chat that his phone pinged at the last ping at the construction site. Is it you, Tracy? So how can his phone ping at the construction site if his phone was at home? Oh, God. That's got me flummoxed now, that has, because I don't know. Because that isn't um, a, just a runaway, if that's the case. That means he did have his phone on him. And whoever he's gone with, then they've handed the phone back to someone else to take back home. If that was the case. 
because his phone would be pinging at the house, not at the ex uh, construction site. That doesn't make sense. I'm gonna, I'll tell you something, I'm not going to sleep now tonight now. That's on my flipping brain, that is stuck there, I can't, I can't fathom it out, why? Hi Jenny, Jenny Minich. Hi Am. So, how would they have got him up there? Right? Wrap shoes on. Because surely they're going, well, if we're going out for a walk, like if he's going with his mum, well, don't I need my shoes on? You know, I've got to have my shoes on. But well, what time did it ping? That's what I want to know. What time? I'm going to put this down. What time? <laughs> I swear to God, every day I watch YouTube YouTubers, not these fantasy ones, the ones that just clickbait you all the time. Not interested. I watch like Josh and all that, lot, and some others. T Rev. He wasn't on today. But I know he's moving, so he may not be on today. We need a... Yes, Ellie, we do need a timeline. We need a timeline. Is it on her page then, Tracy? Hi, Samantha. Let's see if it's on her page. Hold on. Mm-hmm. Terry Lee. Let's just see if it's on her page. You know what, I can't, f it didn't say exactly what it was. I thought he had because he wasn't on today. And I always watch TV in the morning. Oh, God. This is, that has just thrown me. I'm going to have to watch her videos tomorrow. So tomorrow is Terry Lynn. Terry Lynn day tomorrow. <laughs> I'll sit there for like many hours and watch all her videos as well. Her videos aren't long though. So I can probably watch all her videos in the same time like it took me to watch one video today. But that is interesting how his phone pinged on the last pinged at the construction site. Yeah, I'm sorry, but they're ex Navy. Would they not have known that? Would they not have known that about phones pinging? Right? You know what, like do I was gonna message SG, I was gonna message him myself. You see the thing is, unless you are out there on the ground, you're a YouTuber or TikToker and you're out there on the ground looking and searching and whatever. Me, people like me, other YouTubers who are just in at home in their little rooms doing channels like this, 
will not find Sebastian. Those on the ground, boots on the ground, are the ones that are going to find Sebastian. But I wouldn't even say they're going to find him. I'm going to say it's going to be some Joe Bloggs walking his dog. He's going to find him. So, but I was going to message him myself. I might still. So if he gets more messages, he might come back to us about it. You know what I mean? Because he put that one, when he put his last uh, statement out about uh, Sebastian, I put a comment up saying, can you ask him about, next time you speak to law enforcement, ask him why they haven't got in touch with the CUE organisation where they can use their resources to help find Sebastian. Yeah. But you see, that's another thing. That's another problem, a big problem. Right? People aren't coming forward straight away. They're waiting two days, a week, maybe two weeks before they say anything. I was going to, but I'm going to still do. I'm still going to email him and message him about that ping. I'll do it when I finish my live because um, he's the one who talks, who's like, as I put on my post, when I posted that thing that he's done, when I shared his post, I said, I like Nick Berries, right? I really do. But I just feel his SCSO's little puppet. You know what I mean? So, so instead of them coming out and standing in front of the camera, they're telling him what they want the public to know, which isn't nothing. I'm sorry. We don't want it second hand. We want it from your lips. Right, some your county, sheriff's office, your lips. Not not your little puppy, sorry. I know I keep calling him your little puppy because in my eyes he is, because he's just telling us what you're telling him. I have two teenagers with autism. If that was my child missing, I would get being out there. So, yep. Yeah, even if I take dirt and drink dirty water, yes, I'd be the same. I really would, Samantha. I don't... If the law enforcement said to me, if I had a child, go, you need to stay at home, I'd go, are you going to ping me down? Because the only way you're going to stop me from searching is if you lock me up. And I'll just push straight past him and go out that door. Ask him if TBI get K9 at their house. Trailer their car, trail their cars. Both. <laughs> Thank you, Samantha. It's a good thing. Ask TBI get K9 at their house. Yep. Yeah. Well, TBI gave... And I'm not sure if Jules is still doing this now. I don't know. I hope she is, and I hope she's doing it privately without telling anyone, right? Which I think she would be anyway, because she never did, never disclosed any areas she was searching, never. And um, she would never video it. Because people go, why don't you do a live video? Why? Well, so you can track her and then. Everyone else can track her and tell those who are intimidating people where she is. Not me. No. I'm not. Sorry, I'm just looking for something. I can't find it. Sorry. So I don't blame none of these. So even Seth has said he'll start the searches back up, but he will not be telling them where it is. He will not be posting where the searches are or what. And I don't blame him because every searcher that has gone out there has had threats, being intimidated, 
and then you got poor Chris, Chrissy Pig. Yes, we've had to wreck some um, people bag my fingers and everything. What a shame. You're more worried about what people think of you than you are about finding your stepson. Grow up, man. Get your big boy pants on. Or do you need to put some of them pull-ups on like you used to make Sebastian wear? Do you need a dum-dum? Right? But no. He's more, they are more concerned. He's more concerned about how he looks in the public and, on, and online than he does about anything about Sebastian. Which is... I'm going to put his picture up because we're talking here and I haven't even got his picture up. Actually, I'll see if I can play this without the music. No, it won't let me play it without the music. Oh, shut up! Can you hear my cat in the background? Oh, my God, is Shush! Hold on. Dr. Moby, your food is in the kitchen. Swear to God, you'd think, you think I starve these cats, but every day I put wet food down for them, and they're not eating it, so every day I throw it away. Every night, I'm having to throw it away. They've got dry food there 24-7, the bowl of water there 24-7, and they're still constantly moaning. Oh. But, right, the reason people are threatening KP and CP is because they have, because they behave the way they do. It's a, yeah, exactly. It's gotten, like, if. Do I have to spray you with water? Do I? Do I have to spray you? <sighs> Hi, John Davis, true crime. Hiya. Yeah. But no, um, I'm going to put that one back up. The world does love you, Sebastian. Anything new? Oof. There are so many big flags and so many circumstantial evidence against them. Really Anything new? Right. Where do we start? Apparently, Stephen, this guy who now is one of the dream team of Seth's, right, said he went to Summer County Law, uh, Sheriff's Office. They want treats. They get treats. I give them treats. I give them everything. They're flipping cats. They're spoiled. Right. Anyway. He said he went to the some of the county police came, uh, sheriff's office and they told them that within 72 hours of Sebastian going missing, everything got flipped 180. So they're not, it still didn't say whether it was a criminal investigation or not. Uh, apparently, as well, they've got a video of Sebastian on the Monday. Don't know what time, don't know what, where, nothing. Don't know if it's a house camera, um, door, uh, car, car, cam, a uh, car cam, whatever. Don't know if it was anything like that, don't know. Um, and we've, I've just realised that apparently something was said about Sebastian's phone last pinging, ping, 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 on the construction site. They want treats. They don't want treats. They're getting fat. Believe me, my cats are getting fat.
Right. I seen that seems odd. They flip beliefs. They but still doesn't see consider a crime of having been committed. You know what? I think they do. I think they do. Because have you ever known a DA be involved in a missing child? Come on, you're in the US, I'm not. Has any of you ever known the DA be involved in the case of a child that is A, either run away or B, just missing? Just left home, just drank, poof, off the front door. Right? I'll tell you, Samantha, if I lived near, if I was in the US, right, I would. Get my laptop, get my phone, get my charges, pack a bag, right? I'd be down there. Book into a little motel somewhere, whatever. I'd be down there, so... I've seen... Uh, all right, just put that. <sighs> but, as I said, I'm in the UK, and so the best thing I can do... This is the first mate. Well, I've done, I looked at other cases before this one. Like I was following the Harmony Mo Montgomery case. And I've got to do an update on little Elijah Vu because he's still missing. But this one is the one that's caught my heart. This is the lag that caught my heart straight away. As soon as I heard about it. And I've also got to do an update on Stephen Stearns. You really want to hear that police interview. Oh, that's good. Okay, Team Chris are useless parents. Yep. But no, um, I just feel so bad. For, because if he is alive, where is he? Who's got him? You know what I mean? If he's alive. And Chris can't afford for him to be found. Because he will talk. He will talk if he's alive. He will say exactly what's happened. Where he's been. How he's been kept. You know what I mean? But... I think as well, people, they did mention this all oh, about um, nearly a month and a half ago, near the beginning. Anyone who plays these online games that he played, if you're online playing these games, put a call out on there. If anyone knows of a Sebastian Rogers, if they're here with him, let, get him to touch the police, you know what I mean? Yeah, people are. Oh, um, I've heard, I heard someone putting them down the other day about being a stay at home dad while she went to work. Uh, there's plenty of fathers that stay at home because the wives have got a better job, can pay better. You know what I mean? Plenty. I heard part of Stephen Stern's interview. I can't believe Jen didn't know what happened. Who's Jen? SG, who's Jen? I think Christopher Proudfoot came through the night quietly and took Sebastian Rogers and hurt Sebastian. I don't... If this is true what they're saying, that they have got video footage of Sebastian. Now, this has been going around for a while now. Because someone said they've got gas cam, door cam, uh, car cam, whatever they call it, right? Video. But Seth hasn't been shown this video. So we don't know whose car it was because Seth said, well, it wasn't my car because I don't have anything like that in my car. All right, Jane. Right, well, I might do, um, if I've got time tomorrow afternoon, I might do a quick update on that tomorrow afternoon. But I'll see how it goes. 
because I've got a few things I need to do tomorrow. If not, I might do it Sunday because Sunday is normally quiet. Normally quiet. Nothing will come out over the weekend, put it that way. Nothing new is going to come out over the weekend. So anything retaining to this case is going to be put on hold now until Monday. So they'll just be thrashing through all the old information again, which we've got no confirmation on. That information that's come out from Tony and Stephen, we've got no actual confirmation. Yep, and never mummy turned her back on her child. She knew, she knew. I swear to God, if any, if if that had been my child, I don't think I could dig a hole quick enough to bury him in it. I just think I'd splatter him with the spade and leave him for public view. You know what I mean? Because. It's not worth digging a hole for. And there's too, too many of these cases. Too many of these cases. You know what I mean? Too many of these muggling cases. And we st I still want to do an update on that uh, Aubrey Cunningham. Because I want to see what's happening with that case now. Because he has been charged with the murder as we all seen. But, so there's several cases I need to do updates on. But I'll do them in the afternoons. You know what I mean? I'll come on about 3 o'clock. It's normally about 10, 11 o'clock your time, depending on where you are. So it's normally like a morning one for you. Mid-afternoon for me. True, true SG, yeah. Katie family lives in West Virginia. I thought her family lived in South Carolina. I might be wrong. But that, I'm going to have to get this phone ping confirmed. And the fact of the 72 hours flipped in another direction. I want to get all that confirmed. Because I'm not going to believe some guy. Okay. Right. Okay, West Virginia. Okay. West Virginia. Isn't there a song about that? About West Virginia. Country song. Anyway, so, um, yeah, I'm going to get all that confirmed. I'll write a great big email to uh, Nick, Nick Bearers. There's a few things I want confirmed. I want the video evidence confirmed. I want the 72-hour mark conf confirmed. And... The phone pinging. I think we put some guy up. Uh, we, it was one of my very first... I was just talking about Sebastian at the time. And we was talking in chat, me and, us, me and another someone, can't remember who it was now. And I said, and this guy come through, and he's from Glasgow. And his name was Ryan. And I thought, oh, I know a Ryan from Glasgow, for it wasn't him. And I said, I'll tell you now, I said, if I was to meet a guy now, right, if I was like, say, 20 years younger and I met a guy, because I'm 58 now, I'm not interested in men. They're just paying in the backsides, in my opinion. <laughs> um... If I was 20 years younger and I was meeting another guy, I'd be vetting them like hell. And if they said to me, oh, yeah, I've been married twice, I'd be going, 
Really? Okay. And if she said, what are you doing? I said, I'm just phoning a taxi. I'm going home. <laughs> I'll be gone. I'd, wrong him. I'd be doing a background check on him before I even met him. Like my husband, I met through my sister, right, and her husband, because my, my husband at the time, before I got married to him, he used to work with my brother-in-law. And that's how I met my husband, through them. Right, it was a blind date. Well, actually, I did meet him before the, the gap before we went out, because I was going into my sister's garden, and I always went in the back way. And as I've gone in through the back gate, I've just pushed the gate, shut the gate, like I would normally. Didn't realise that this guy was walking in behind me, and the gate hit him in the face. I didn't realise he, he followed me down the path. I was just going down the path towards the back gate, and as I've gone in, I've just... Open the back gate, swung it shut without looking, and smacked him in the face. And then I found out that was the guy I was having a blind date with. And we was married, I knew him 24 years, and we have married 19, 20 years. And he was 11 years older than me. Hold on, I've missed some out there. Sorry, I've missed some out. My thoughts and theory on KP being involved. What if Sebastian walked in on KP? I thought of that, Gigi. What, what if Sebastian had walked in on KP and with another guy, yeah. But I still think your other theory is a better one, your first one. The only problem that uh, for psychopaths and covert and you know, pass the polygraph, yes, they can. Guys like Stephen Proud, certain women, I'm too strong willed. You <laughs> <laughs> don't want to meet me, you really do. No guy wants to meet me now because it's like, yeah, right. Get lost. I can't be asked if I'm a really can't. I just. So, I'm too old now for all that anyway. Yes, I was having marital problems. I'd only been married, what, two years, and I was having marital problems. Christ, that honeymoon period didn't last long, did he? Within a year, the honeymoon period's over, and they were discussing divorce for the next year. So, he knew about Sebastian, though. So, if he couldn't <coughs> deal with Sebastian, he should have backed away from Katie, full stop. Will you shush up? Don't tell me, no. So, but he knew about Sebastian. But he's a narcissist and he's controlling. And someone like that is not going to work well with a child with autism. That's okay. <laughs> really bad, slow, fat fingers texting. <laughs> oh, don't put yourself down, Ellie. Don't put yourself down. But, um, as I said, someone who's controlling, who wants everything done in a specific way, is not going to blend well with a child with autism. He said it himself in that interview, when Sebastian gets it, this idea in his head, that's it. He just goes for it. I'm glad I don't have to text no more. Well, I do on some... If I, when I go on YouTube channels or when I'm on Facebook. And I'm just waiting for someone to pull me up about my um, 
spellings. I really am. Because my spelling is dreadful. And I can't. Sometimes I go through and correct it all before I hit the go button. But sometimes I just hit it. I don't care about my spellings. So, finally, both of them lying down and being quiet. Anyway, so um, it's just. I dread to think what's going to come out over the weekend. I don't think, I'll be surprised if anything comes out this weekend. Because normally it's the weekend when I have my grandson that all this information comes out. And I don't go online when I've got my grandson. Even though he says, you can go online now, Grand, if you want. No, it's all right, sweetheart. <laughs> I'm not going to keep stopping and starting just because I've got to sort you out, you know what I mean? So, and I like spending time with my grandson, so. And I'll have my granddaughter next Saturday as well, so. I definitely won't be online. But, so this weekend will probably be very quiet. I doubt if we get anything new come out this weekend. And if it, anything comes out, it's not, it's, I'll, it'll have to be confirmed. You know what I mean? And I can't see the police doing a presser, a press release over the weekend. They're not going to do that. But if they keep going through Nick Berries, I'm going to be a bit peeved. You know what I mean? Because is it taking that time off them from eating their donuts and drinking their coffee just to take five minutes out to do a press release? Because that's all it is, five minutes. It's not long. Sorry, we've got no new information. Liar. But you see, the reporters don't ask the questions we want. Yes, and he's probably upset because remember he said Sebastian thought he was going to get him kicked out of his home. Sebastian thought he was. Oh, yeah, so he was probably upset because of me. Oh, right, yeah. Yeah. He wouldn't be happy not being able to be in that house to have control. Now, did they have cameras in that house? But I'm wanting to know what about this shadow? That was seen apparently by Katie about eleven thirty at night, or someone else. I'm not sure it's Katie or someone else saw a shadow by their go walking around their house, right? And he, someone said it, he had a cap on and all this lot. Oh, oh, that'd be nice. Did they live that far from you, Ellie? I'm lucky because my two of my grandchildren live what? Uh, 10, 15 minutes away. I'm actually going down in June to see my grandson because it's his birthday. He'll be seven. So... I won't be online that weekend at all because I'm down in Glasgow. I could go online, but I won't because I enjoy my time with my daughter. Wow, Cyprus. That's nice where they live then. Shush up. You shush up. Oh, thank you too. Do you have to get this bottle of water spray on you again? You know you don't like that bottle. I just think it's really sad and sickening. Suddenly Sebastian Rogers just goes missing and then removes Sebastian Rob. Yeah. I don't think that was a match. Like, come on. They've got enough money to buy a new mattress. They don't have to have a second-hand mattress, surely. That is something I'd never buy second hand is a mattress. Never. 
Ai. If I buy, if I add a nice bed, I buy a nice mattress to go with it. They don't need to buy, have a second hand mattress given to them. They've got money for mattresses. Or was they having money problems? But then again, we don't know, we don't know what they've done on these searches in that house. Apparently they've been in there 10 times. We don't know what search they've done. We don't know if they've done any luminal, whatever they call it, any fingerprinting, any DNA. Nothing we don't know. And was that mattress still in the garage? In the other mattress that was in the garage? I want to know, was it there when the police came? You know what I mean? Was it there when the police came? Because if it was, then the dogs would have got his scent off that mattress. You know what I mean? It doesn't make sense why the dogs weren't picking up on any scent outside that house, apart from... And I know it's only one dog because it's in that dispatch call. One dog. Oh, I think Bobby and Chris, Bobby told Chris and Katie the same thing Detective David told Stephen. Really? What makes you think that, Gigi? Because if they, now we all know Bobby's now talking to Steph, uh, Steph, um, Seth. So would he not have told Seth the same thing? You know what I mean? And I'll tell you why he's talking to Seth again. Because at the beginning, when he spoke to the law enforcement, he's, they said something, he said, well, I'll be running my own investigation, right? As well. And that's when he had his first two PIs on the case. But because they wasn't coming back with any information after a while, he got rid of them. And then he got those... And uh, the other two in. And um, I think now he's got rid of both his PIs. The play Bobby will talk to him again. It's because he had the PIs from the beginning. He had private investigators helping. He said that. From the beginning, he's had private investigators. So, um, now he hasn't got them. Bobby is now talking with him again. So, perhaps that's one reason he was getting rid of the... Well, I know, I now know why, just my opinion, why Chloe left. Because she said something about the way his direction was going didn't sit right with her and her investigation and her, you know what I mean? It's because he told them he was bringing in Tony and he told them that he'd probably be bringing in Nina and she thought, no, I'm not having none of this, I'm not having nothing to do with this if Nina's coming in on it because she's got a record and it's not going to look good. Having Tony, who's got a record, and then Nina. Now you've got Stephen, who's apparently got a record, police record as well. But you can't judge people on their past. You really can't. Heather very politely said Seth can be a handful. Allegedly, that's why law enforcement wasn't talking to Seth. No, possibly, yes, I said poss I did say no, but... Possibly, yes. But I think, I know from the beginning, Seth said he told law enforcement that he'd be running his own investigation. And one night, when he talked to Pascal, he said something like, you're just not asking the right, was it Pascal's show or something? I 
can't remember if it was Pascal show or another show, a YouTuber. And he said, you're just not us. Oh, it was, um, I know who it was. It was Dolly Vision. He said to Dolly Vision, you're just not asking the right questions. So then one week has gone on the Pascal show. And someone mentioned about institutions. Could they put him in an institution? Because if they have, they're breaking the law. Because he's not given his permission. And Seth started to write it down. And Pascal said, are you writing that down? He said, yep. He said, he said was that a good question then? He said, yep, that's one of the correct, correct, correct uh, questions. So... And he said, I'll be getting my PIs onto that. So I know then he had PIs. And that was before Chloe and Heather. I would be more than a handful if my child was missing and nothing was given to me. I'd be camped outside their offices. With a big poster of Sebastian on my child. If it's Sebastian Sales the mother, I'd have a big feck off poster of my child and my tent or whatever camped right by it. You know what I mean? No one would stop me from getting to the truth. And if I thought my child my, my child was missing and law enforcement wasn't doing their job, wasn't we know for a fact they didn't pass that DCS report to TBI because when Seth phoned them about it, they didn't have it. And Seth said, well, and they wanted to get a copy of Seth. And Seth said, well, why don't you get in touch with Sumner County Sheriff's Office because they've got the unredacted form. They've had it from day one. Yeah, but just, I think the search is, what were the threats and everything? It was getting too much for him. And then he was coming home on the night times and doing YouTube channels and getting his name and picture out there. It was just too much for him. Yeah, I think the same, Gigi. And I can understand him bringing in Tony. Right, I really can. Right? And, but I don't understand these other two people that have come into it. I really don't. I don't, I don't see what they have to offer. Yeah, but you see, while he had the PIs, Bobby wouldn't talk to him either. Now he's got no PIs, Bobby is actually talking to him. Last seen in the air. Uh, it was last seen on the 26th of February in Stafford, in the area of Stafford Court. That could have been on. Kelling Lane, could have been on the corner of his road, but I doubt it would be on his corner of the road, not on the 26th. But what what time of the day was this seen? That's what we need to know, because any time after, what, 7pm, that road is full of police. So it's got to be, if he was seen in that area, Right? You think all the police that were searching that area that day, the dogs were there, law enforcement was there, um, they had everyone literally out there that day, yeah? So, what time? I'd say it's got to be before 7 a.m. he was seen. Because any time after 7 a.m., that area was covered. That road, Terry Kelling Lane, was covered with police. 
and sniff a dog's and whatever. I think PR's think he ran away and Seth believes our players to different directions, same goals. Yes. They both got their different directions, they're just going for the same direction the same goal but just different directions. But I just want to know, it's got to be before, as I said, if they've got him on camera, in the area of uh, Stafford Court, it has to be before 6.30 at least. Right? Or even 6am at least, because... By 20 past 6, she was in her car driving around. By half past 6, she was back at the house. By then, the neighbours all knew. So you've got neighbours out looking as well. The police were there by quarter to 7. By 7 o'clock, they had the whole area covered in law enforcement. So as I said, it's got to be before 6 a.m. Yeah, she could lose her license, yes. Right, she could lose her license. And she wasn't going to jeopardise that. I don't blame her. He didn't have phone on him. Exactly, so how can, if this is true, What's going on with being said? How could his phone ping his last his phone last ping from the construction site when his phone was in the kitchen? So that's a uh, conundrum there. How can his phone last ping? at the construction site when his phone was in the kitchen and if they've got him on camera on some camera footage or car dash cam whatever car cam right if they've got him on anything like that it's got to be before 6 20 in the morning Because I'm sure if they had anything showing where they was doing a handover, right? They'd have arrested them by now. Because we're coming up to three months now, they'd have arrested someone. If they've got someone on camera doing a handover, they'd have arrested them by now. I don't know. Um, I think it came from that Stephen. Someone said Terry Lee has mentioned it on something. So I'm going to check all her videos tomorrow. Okay, Ellie, I've got my orange juice. I was just thinking to myself the other day. The only problem I have living on my own because of what I've gone through in the last two years. My immune system is a lot lower because of the treatment I had. And I had a phone call off my son, when was he? Wednesday. Just to phone up to see how I was. And I said, I'm fine. He said, I would come over, Mum. He said, but I can't. I said, I've got COVID. So he won't put me in a situation where I could get ill and that's a bummer because I don't get to see my son, I don't get to see my grandkids so while he's ill I don't get to see, I won't get to see him yeah law enforcement found had his phone from the house so I need to check up on that pinging I need to check up on where that information came from. Had you met Grandma there the day before and felt comfortable doing it? Hmm. I 
I don't know. But he was texting her, his grandma, Katie's mother, the night before he went missing. So on the 25th, right, he was texting the grandmother. And on the 26th, it's reported missing. And we all know what his, mother, his grandmother's on probation for. Life pro 99 years probation. At RSO. But why would they plan something like this? It doesn't make sense. It really doesn't. They could have just said to Seth, look, we really need you to take him now. You know what I mean? We know we can't get online school right at the moment. But we need you to take him now. And Seth wouldn't have turned him down. He just took him. So, I can't see why it was planned. How'd you make Grandma there, Gabby? Ooh, hold on. What if they met Grandma? At the steakhouse. He said, come here inside the steakhouse. Who was they with at the steakhouse? Texas Roadhouse. Texas Steakhouse, whatever it's called. Who was they there with? Because I'd be very surprised if Katie went on her own with her son. So... As of an SG Jen knew what was going on and better dollar to Jen what she's right in the act. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna do an update on that case anyway. As I said, I'm I'll see how I'll go tomorrow. I've got a few things I need to do with the first thing. Right. And then if I've got time, I'll do a quick update on that. But if not, I'll do it Sunday. But I will be checking all this information that I've heard today. I want that confirmed. Oh, yes, I remember him saying that. Because he was saying, I bet her, the neighbours don't know nothing about it. But they will do it within the next few days, he said. <laughs> yes, I remember him saying that on one of his lives, yeah. Oh, interesting. I wonder if he got out and put any flyers out about Sebastian. <laughs> put one on, put one through their front doors, you know what I mean? <laughs> But I want to get all this in information confirmed before I go any further on that because I just can't see them telling Stephen this information. I really can't. He's just a Joe Blogs, you know what I mean? Not West Virginia, she lives in Chesapeake. Chesapeake? I don't know where she lives. I've heard Dolly say she lives not far from him, really. Not right on his doorstep, but not far. <laughs> Love it. Oh, God. I haven't watched him today because I was busy watching all the other YouTube, the other two channels I had to watch. So... Virginia, not West Virginia. Anyway, it is what? I've been on here three hours. Come on, ladies. Seth Rogers mentioned Katie lives. Do we do you address you as ID? Yeah, address me as ID. 
So, for instance, you don't even have to address me as I do, just like give us whatever you want to put down there. Just be nice. <laughs> Certified alien is not certified. <laughs> anyway, as I said, I've been on here three hours now. And it's been lovely chatting with you all. But I have got to go and take my medication. Okay, so as I said, I will try and do an update tomorrow afternoon on um, Magdalene Soto. Okay. If not, I'll probably do it Sunday afternoon because Sundays are very dead anyway. Okay, and then I'll be back on tomorrow night as usual about Sebastian because I want to get this information confirmed. But there's plenty to talk about with Sebastian. There's other videos we can go over and just listen to what they say. You know what I mean? Pull up some more information, whatever I can. Thank you, SG. But, like I said, I go on facts. And what I've heard today, it's just come from Tony and a st this guy called Stephen. Thank you. It's just come from Tony and this guy called Stephen. And to be honest, I don't know if I can trust what they say. I really don't. Right, so, anyway, I hope you've all had a lovely day. Have a lovely rest of the day, I should say. And I will see you either tomorrow afternoon if you want to come and join me. If I am live tomorrow afternoon, well, be tomorrow morning for you lot. What's that? Not West Virginia, friend. They live in Ch Chesterspoke. It's the same state, different area. Katie's mum and stepdad lived in West Virginia. He's in prison with his wife's daughter for murder. Katie's mum moved beside, oh my God. What a family. Anyway, I'm going to say goodnight and thank you to you all for being here. I really do appreciate you all being here. And I'll see you tomorrow. Good night.